back here with another vlog. Today is Monday, August 17th. And uh, today I am starting a new program. Uh, it's a PHAT program, a really customized PHAT program. Uh, if any of you know about or know who Wayne Norton is, you probably already know the concept of PHAT or what it stands for. Uh, for those of you that don't, it's Power Hypertrophy Adaptive Training, which basically means one week you might just do all strength stuff, and one week you may just do hypertrophy stuff. Or you could do a mix of both of one week. Your first two days could be power lower, power upper, power upper, power lower, um, and then hypertrophy work for the rest of the week. Mine, however, is going to be pretty insane. Pretty insane. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, squat bench dead. Getting right back into the strength program. Um, might do some leg accessory work after today. So Tuesday would be back and biceps. Thursday would be back and triceps. And Saturday is shoulders and arms. I see you off on Sunday. I might knock it back to five days a week, depending on how much volume, um, well, there's there's gonna be a lot of volume. Depending on how my body reacts to the amount of volume uh, in this split, uh, I might make it a four or a five day. Most likely five if I have to knock it back at all. Uh, alrighty guys, leaving the house now, heading to the gym. Looks like I might be doing this workout solo today. That kind of sucks, but hey, still gotta do it, right? No excuses. So uh, you saw the clip before. Um, strength training's back. Back feels pretty good. It's a little sore, muscular sore though. So I'm. Um, we'll see how this how this goes. If it starts to be a little bit too much, uh, I'll stop and uh, play it safe not looking to get injured again and one thing I am gonna be starting uh, up again is uh, my mobility work kind of been slacking on that shit you know lots of lower back mobility shoulder mobility just really warm up all my joints before I uh, you know start lifting I think it's definitely gonna definitely gonna help you know it, I, I believe it did help a lot and it's something I need to start doing again. That and I have this toy. One of these things. It's like a cross ball on like a like a string kind of. It's really good because you can really hit those certain spots like on your rear delt or your lats that are really hard to get with a cross ball. Uh, simply because this one actually has like a, a string on it. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be mashing out my uh, my hamstrings today with that because they're just a little tight, and I uh, just want to break up all the uh, all that lactic acid buildup before I uh, start lifting. You need to take a picture. You ready to do it? Well, that's yeah, okay. It's right fine. I don't want to accidentally photo bomb your picture. Oh, no, I'm, I'm actually uh, recording. I, I made YouTube videos. Oh, cool. Yeah. Welcome to day one, week one of a brand new training program that I am calling the Mikey G PHAT. So today, working with 75% of my training max for sets of nine. Working with 250 pounds, so my numbers come out too, and um, leading into this workout. Yesterday I had eaten quite a bit of food, so way carved up for this workout. Felt really good going into it. Um, halfway through it, I'm not gonna lie, it, it kinda, it kinda beat me up. And I say that very lightly. Um, but anyway, these these first couple of sets went really well. And uh, you guys saw just before in the very clip before this one, 
uh, the guy asking me if he wanted to, if he wanted me or him, I'm sorry, he wanted him to take the picture for me. But uh, little did he know that I'm not setting my camera up to take pictures. <laughs> um, but you guys heard me talk to him, and uh, he actually came up to me um, and asked me another question. I didn't actually have it on tape that time, but uh, he was asking me about my bench press setup. And uh, I'm guessing I th what I thought he was talking about was the way I was moving the bar. Uh, it's not a straight up and down motion like people tend to think it is. And I shouldn't say like people as in all people, but the majority, blah, 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 the majority of lifters I personally see, uh, at least when it comes to barbell bench press, is a straight up, straight down. And it really shouldn't. It, it should have like a, like an elliptical type movement. So it should come down somewhere right beneath the nipple, and then not just straight up, but straight up and back towards the rack. So um, that's what I thought he was talking about. But the more and more I thought about it, I think he was actually talking about the way I set up in my uh, lower back arch. Um, and really all that does is help me dig my shoulders into the bench and plant my feet into the ground and it just gives me more stabilization, more power. Now, um, I'm actually supersetting or somewhat supersetting my squats with my bench press. Uh, it just, it's just going to save a shit ton of time and, um, and I say superset sort of because I would hit my squat and then I would catch my breath let my body just rest a little bit and then get right into the bench press and then come back rest hit my squat do my bench um, and when I was hitting my when I got done when I got done hitting my all my sets of squats all my sets of bench press um, I contemplated not doing my deadlifts right then and there. I was either going to come back to the gym later tonight or was going to do them later that night at home. But, um, no. Training smart and pushing yourself is a good thing. And I kind of just say, well, let me take, let me take like five, seven, maybe ten minutes to see what my body feels like and then go into it. Um, and it wasn't really, well, it was, it was more, uh, that I was pretty much depleted at that point. I had pretty much burned through everything. I didn't really have a big breakfast going into this. Uh, big mistake on my part. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, so the workout might not be as early in the morning. It might be mid-afternoon just so I can at least get a big breakfast in. Um, and I think it'll just help me a lot more because I, I started feeling really, really tired. Really tired. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough program guys. I'm probably going to wind up knocking it back to five days a week. So my Tuesday schedule, like you guys heard in the beginning might change and my Thursday might be a complete rest day and Saturday might be something totally different. But as far as Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the strength training, anyway, uh, that's going to be exactly the same. Uh, after I was done with all of my, my work here, my compounds, uh, I was going to do some leg accessory work, but I was already so shot, like I just got done saying that, I said, fuck it and let's go. Uh, however, I did try and actually do calves, but my left calf kept cramping up, so I just decided to back off and uh, go home and eat. Something that I'm doing right now, actually. I left mid-commentary because I got a phone call from my dad uh, asking if I wanted to go get some food. So I was like, yeah, I want to get food. Are you kidding? I'm always hungry. Actually, as of just before I left, I really wasn't. My body's, like, after this workout, my body got, like, weird. Like, like I knew I was hungry, but, um, like, I didn't feel hungry. Like, does that make sense? Does that ever happen to you guys? Or, like, your stomach's, like, kind of growling. Um, and it's just, like, but you just don't feel hungry. I think it's because I just, I shocked my body with this, with this workout. 
hopefully my body responds to it a little bit better by Wednesday. Um, but hey, we'll see. But anyway, uh, I'm actually feeling a lot better right now. Uh, I think it, it quite possibly could just be that my lifting levels are just totally shot or my body's just shocked from, from the workout. And uh, it just needed a few hours to relax. <laughs> like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. All right, moving on. I've actually did, I think, two sets of eight on this bench press. Um, damn, I, I just suck at counting when the reps are that high. But uh, not not a big deal. Uh, I did the same thing on a squat, uh, but then I made up for it with the one 10 rep set that you guys saw, uh, if you were counting. Uh, I don't know if you guys count. Uh, I tend to do that when I watch other YouTubers, you know, try and figure out the programming and, you know, whatnot. But, uh, and then on deadlifts too, I'm pretty sure I had one 10 rep set on deadlifts. Like, you guys can see that, like, I really suck at counting when it, when the numbers get higher than, like, seven or eight. Oh, man. This, like, this day felt like it went on forever, but I got to the gym, like, just after 10 o'clock. I'd say a quarter app maybe 10 15 10 30 by the time I actually started working and actually probably later it might have been even a quarter two but uh, I got out just before one o'clock it may have been 12 45 so two hours or so um, I might try and take a little bit more rest time in between uh, I mean, I I don't really have a problem staying at the gym for like three hours. I think especially when it comes to at least my Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, sessions that I should definitely maybe take just a little bit more time. Uh, today being only 75% of my training max, it really wasn't too taxing. But at the same time, it, it really was. Uh, just you're, just by working, you know, your three major compound lifts. And uh, it's only going to get tougher from here. It's only going to get tougher. But... Uh, Anyway, I mean, I'm definitely admiring my, my form here. Uh, you can see back straight. The uh, the lighting in this spot is actually pretty cool. It makes my tricep look pretty good. Look at that. Damn. Sitting at 161 pounds flat, guys. 161 pounds. Um, up a little bit. My, my lowest weigh-in uh, during the, the summer cut was I think 151 maybe 154 154 I think and uh, before that I, I was cutting back from a 170 and uh, we will definitely prob probably be working our way back up to the 170 maybe even 180 we'll see how fat I really want to get this uh, winter <sighs> already thinking about winter I don't want winter man I was supposed to move to Florida, where it was no cold. <laughs> it's all good, though. I will enjoy and embrace the winter here in New Jersey one more time. At least one more time. Um, but, I mean, all in all, guys, like, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm happy. Um, for those of you that don't know, I, I was supposed to move in with uh, Jessica, or we were supposed to move in together. Uh, as of November 1st, we were supposed to move into a house in Florida, but uh, as you guys know, we are no longer seeing each other. Um, but the uh, the parents are looking to retire soon, and uh, I might just go down with them to Florida. It's it's nice down there. They're looking the Fort Myers area. Uh, it's kind of a quiet area. Uh, I may not actually stay in the Fort Myers area. I might uh, branch off. Uh, maybe, I mean, I, I really like the, uh, Orlando area, or, you know, uh, Tampa, because there's a, there's a lot of cool athletes and, uh, gyms, uh, in those two areas, but, uh, anyway, back on my form, guys, uh, I got a little sidetrack there, um, looking pretty good, my back straight, my, uh, hips, knees, everything all locked out at the same time, and, uh, this is really, really good, I'm, I'm actually surprised, not having deadlifted, pretty much at all uh, over the course of it was like three or four months like I said I, I dropped squatting and I dropped deadlifting and I dropped straight bar uh, bench press you know on straight bar 
flat bench press. So it was just never a movement that I was ever good at. I mean, you guys saw I was benching 145 pounds you know, at 161 pounds body weight. Uh, I got really strong at the dumbbell incline press, which I had really been focusing on, but uh, I'm determined this time. I'm absolutely determined to get my bench press, my flat bench press really strong. I'm not going to give up on myself this time. In the past, I have. Uh, I'm going to take things slow and uh, steady with this. I'm not looking to uh, re-injure myself. If you didn't think Chinese people got stereotyped enough for eating dogs, check this out. I always, I always get the weirdest look from cops and this girl right here walking past my car as I'm talking to you guys. Um, I have my YouTube channel written out in that, uh, that window chalk on the uh, in the back there. Just, you know, I, people walk by it and they go, hey, uh, maybe let me check that out. And then I got this camera mounted in my window. But uh, like I was saying, I get the weirdest looks from cops. It's like there's a lot of construction going on right now down in uh, Newton, where my gym is that I train at. And, uh, you know, they're out there directing traffic with uh, like all the detours and stuff. And the first thing you usually see is probably the, the, uh, the YouTube channel in the back of my window. And then they see the camera, or maybe they see the camera first. Either way, um, on my way here to the gym today anyway, I got the weirdest look from the cop ever. It's so weird. And like, uh, it just reminded me now because a cop just pulled into the, uh, the parking lot over here. Um, nice turn, dude. But yeah, I get the weirdest look. Anyway. I really wanted to turn the camera on and talk to you about the uh, the workout. I am fucking wiped right now. So I recorded all sets, all reps for you guys. Uh, my squat, my bench press, my deadlift. And uh, I'm telling you guys, I was tough. This was only day one. I have Wednesday and Friday, along with some, some bodybuilding stuff in between those days. Um, Honestly, I might make it a five-day split. That's kind of tough. But um, we'll see how this week goes. And then uh, we'll make our decision from there. But today's plan, go home, eat, try and find some work. Um, other than my, uh, my online clients that I have, uh, I'm not really working and I don't have that many online clients, so I need to fill the spot with some part-time work, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this training video. Um, I might upload training videos and vlog separately, now just that there's a lot of strength training stuff going on and uh, it's going to take up a lot of time, a lot of time. Uh, not only in the gym, but uh, when it comes to editing and giving you guys footage to watch. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes, too. I don't really know. Anyway, feeling, feeling pretty good, guys. Do, 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 do. Where am I going? Going in here. How am I looking, guys? How am I looking? I might just give you guys a whole physique update. Let me eat, carb up, and uh, I will bust out the tripod and do uh, we'll do quarter turns, the mandatories, 
And uh, yeah, let's check the physique out. Standing in right now at 161 pounds flat this morning. And uh, I'd say I'm pretty, pretty fucking lean still. Like... All right, let's go eat.